Hi, wine friends, and happy Wine Wednesday. If you're new, I'm Ali from A Glass After Work. Thanks for joining. So today, I would love to share with you a new wine club that we joined. It's a monthly wine club from Kermit Lynch Wine Merchants. And Kermit Lynch is a really well-known wine importer and author. He has a big company now, um, the Kermit Lynch Wine Merchants. And I just honestly, anytime I see a wine that is imported by Kermit's company, I just, I love it. I, I don't think I've had any wine from them that I haven't enjoyed. So we ended up canceling one of my other wine clubs, the Vasco Urbano Wine Club. Just, I was just feeling like it was time for a little bit of a change. And I'd really been eyeing the Kermit Lynch one for a while. So the way the KLWM Wine Club works is that there are several different levels. We have the lowest level called the Adventurer, and it's a $39 a month club for one bottle of red and one bottle of white, and the wines are either from Italy or from France. That's where he imports from, so all of their wines are either from Italy or France. We got our first shipment at the beginning of January, which I was really, really excited about, and obviously with a white and a red. The white wine we got is this Gregoletto Verdicio. It's a Italian white from the Veneto region, and they're actually really well known for Prosecco, not for still white wine. However, they do grow a very small amount of the Verdicio grape, and it's an indigenous grape that grows, you know, at the foot of the Dolomites, and I'd never heard of it before. I've never seen it before. I know very little about it, just a little bit of reading I did before filming this, and I'm really excited to try a new, a new wine grape. So already the wine club is a hit. This is a $20 wine. It's gonna be a new grape for me. It just, you know, fun, fun exploring. That's not the wine we're gonna taste today though. So the wine that we're gonna taste today is the uh, 2019 Chignon from Andre and Michelle Quinard. It's a Gamay from the Savoy uh, area of France. Normally we associate the Gamay grape with Beaujolais, so it'll be interesting to see how different this is from what we normally see in the grape in uh, Beaujolais. All right, so we've definitely got a purple trending towards ruby color happening. It's, I would say, kind of medium colored. I'm definitely seeing the bottom of my glass. Ooh, that is full of berries, berries, berries. Um, blackberries and cherries and maybe a little bit of like wet stone. Um, normally I don't associate that with a red wine, so that's kind of interesting. Oh, it's really very, very pretty. I'm also getting a little bit of floral uh, on the nose. Interesting. All right, why don't we give it a taste? Cheers. Mm. Oh, this is very nice. So one of the things I love about the Gamay grape is that it tends to be a little lighter, a little lower acidity, a little um, lighter in the tannins. And that's exactly what I'm getting here. This is, I would say probably in the light to medium bodied range. So it's not completely a light bodied red. Definitely lower tannins and um, definitely in that medium, lower medium acidity. Really well balanced. There's a lot of fruit happening for sure. Uh, definitely the raspberries I was getting, some strawberries. Also, interestingly, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of black cherry happening in there. I'm also getting some of that minerally wet stone notes. It's not a super complicated wine. It's quite enjoyable. I really like this. This to me, um, they suggested it to go with Rislet, uh, which if you're not familiar with it, is basically where you take the cheese and you melt it over like they now have like reset plates and stuff like that. You melt it and then scrape the treat cheese off the side onto like potatoes or to bread. Often it's served with like 
pickles or something, you know, like pickled onions or pickled um, vegetables or something like that. This would be perfect for it. It's not surprising that this is kind of an area where you might see some skiing. So it's very kind of in an apres ski type of wine that will go well with some of those cheeses, but also go well with just sitting in front of a fire kind of curling up. I also think this would be a really nice summer red because it is lighter. So it's not going to make you break out in a sweat when you're uh, drinking it outside in the heat. Um, I think this is, I think it's quite lovely and it's $19. So very affordable, very drinkable, absolutely a good everyday wine option. So I would love to know when you're buying wine from other countries, do you buy based just on where the wine is from or the grape? Or do you actually look at the importers to see if maybe because that importer has imported other wines that you've liked that maybe the uh, giving a shot because they imported that wine? That's actually how I discovered Kermit Lynch is that I started realizing that I was drinking wines that were imported by Kermit Lynch wine merchants. And all of a sudden I'm like, well, I should actually start paying attention to that. And so I'd love to know uh, if it's something you pay attention to down in the comments below, let me know. And next week I am going to share with you a suggestion for Valentine's Day. It is the LVE Rosé Sparkling Wine. This is the wine that is a collaboration between John Legend, the exclusive LVE, and Raymond Vineyards. I've done a LVE wine before. I did a 2014 cab, I think, uh, which I really loved. I haven't tried the bubbly yet, so we will have a chance to try it together next week. This is a $20 wine. Um, hopefully you'll be able to find it and can taste along with me. And that is everything I have for today. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate those. If you aren't already a subscriber, you can do that by clicking on the icon right here or in the subscribe button down below. But don't forget, also click on that bell because it will notify you when I upload a new video, which is going to be every wine Wednesday. And if you are looking for a recommendation, you can find one right there. Thanks for joining and happy wine Wednesday. Cheers.